things that I catch myself doing quite a bit is just thinking about picture frame and wood art ideas. Whether I really choose to or not, it's just my mind just kind of naturally goes in that direction when I'm just driving sometimes or if I'm just hanging out or chilling out or whatever. I just find my mind just wandering into these ideas for pieces of art, which is fine with me, but it's just something that I catch myself doing. And last night I was doing it, and then I thought, okay, I'm gonna start a new art project tomorrow, even though currently I have a bunch in, you know, different stages right now. But it's always fun to start a new project. So I thought, okay, how can I make something simple? Not anything that's gonna take me several days, but something that'll maybe take me one or two days maximum probably two days. So I got to thinking about these pieces of cedar that I had. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna make a picture frame, just something really simple around one of my small paintings that I've got. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna cut the wood like this, like I did here, but instead of putting it around the picture frame, or instead of putting it around the painting like this, I'm actually gonna double them up like this and maybe even triple them up. So have three of them side by side. And instead of going around a painting, I'm actually gonna make a piece of wood art in the middle to match the frame. So the idea for the frame came first, but then the wood art came second, which is sometimes the way it goes. So what I'm gonna do is the middle part will be like this, but maybe in the six to eight inch range, 10 maximum. And then I'm gonna have a frame that goes all of the way around the piece of wood art in the middle but maybe tripled up instead of doubled up like you see here. Anyway, I don't know how it's gonna go, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So let's see what happens.
comes to making a piece of wood art, I've always felt like the most important thing is having an idea. Much more important than having like really nice tools or really great carpentry skills or even really awesome wood. The idea is basically the most important thing to me anyway. And a lot of times the idea is to actually do a collaboration with the piece of wood. So in that case, I can't really envision too much like a head because it's just based on using the pieces of wood in the best way possible and coming up with all the ideas on the spot. But still, it's very important to have those ideas as it's coming together. But with this one here, I was actually able to plan ahead a little bit in my mind and how it came about is I was actually thinking of two other projects that I'm actually really excited about doing that I still look forward to doing, but I realized that, wait a minute, both of these ideas are good, but they're gonna be really time consuming. So I thought, okay, what could I do that would be much simpler and faster? And then I thought, you know what? I've got those pieces of cedar. What if I cut a squiggly line down the middle of them and then rather than lay the wood flat, if I turned it sideways like you see here. So I actually was planning this ahead of time and you know, I thought I've never done a project like this, but I'm gonna give it a shot and let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. 